Howdy everybody. I'm coming to you from inside the kitchen of the house that got flooded. You can see the sheetrock gone in the back. Because this place is flooded again. Outside, not inside, thank God. There's water everywhere. And a couple days ago, I talked about all the mosquitoes here. Well, that ain't nothing compared to what's here now. The mosquitoes I told you about two or three days ago now have great, great grand skeeters. People talk about rabbits multiplying rapidly. They ain't got nothing on mosquitoes. Uh, there's mosquitoes on my arm. I'm going to read to you from Nahum, first chapter of Nahum this morning, beginning in verse 2. And I don't know where my tripod is. It's probably out there by the bee corral where I last used it. I don't know. But I'm holding the phone, uh, recording on the phone. So excuse any shaking. My, my videos are not professional. I just hope you enjoy the content because it's sincere. God is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds and the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry, and drieth up all the rivers. Bashan languisheth, and Carmel, the flower of Lebanon, languisheth. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation, and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like, like fire, and the rocks are brown, are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overturning, overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. For while they be folded together as thorns, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry. There is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Thus saith the Lord, though they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down when he shall pass through. Though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. For now will I break his yoke from off thee. I will afflict thee no more. That's it. Now I got a phone call coming in and I got biscuits cooking in the oven.